I'm Shelly Lear, founder and owner of Mod Home Ec Studio in Indianapolis and modhomeec.com. Today's five minute clinic is about attaching single welt cord into the groove of an upholstered back chair. If any of you have found any of these cane back chairs and you've uh, taken them apart for one thing, uh, getting the staples out of the groove is just about the worst nightmare there is. But now you get to come back and put the cording back in. So what we've done here, this is one of my students' chairs, and what she's done is attached it up here into the groove. The staples are holding the fabric down. She came back with a tiny pair of scissors and trimmed it really close to the staples. So now, in order to cover those staples, we've got to attach some cording inside of there. So I've made the cording, and this is what it looks like. And I'm going to come back and trim off this lip right up as close to the stitching as I can without cutting into the stitching so that when it's finished, I've got this cord like this, and I'll come back and put some hot glue along here and push this down into the groove to give it a perfectly finished look. Okay, in order to get going on this, I've plugged in my glue gun and I've got this little nozzle on the end which comes in handy to get a thin bead of hot glue laid down along the groove. So I'm gonna go ahead and start down here and just, I'm gonna put down about six or maybe five, I don't know, let's see, right there. About five inches of hot glue and I'm gonna take this that I've made and push it down right into there and you have to wait till the glue gets cool enough that you can push it push it down without burning yourself if you get the glue on your hand. Now there's a cushion that goes in here so it's gonna hide this bottom part but as I can see right here I'm gonna need to tilt that a little bit inward. You've got to get used to doing this. It takes a little bit of practice. And then you just come along and do this all the way up, little by little, really. So you wanna to try to get it as straight as you can and not have any of that hot glue showing on the inside, which there's a little bit there, but I'll come back and um, try to pull that out with a, a long tufting needle. And then when you get all the way finished around to the other side, on this one you don't have to connect it, but if you were having to connect the cording at some point along the edge of a chair, you cut open the cord and cut out a little bit, leave the fabric and cut out the cord part, and then you just fold the fabric back over itself and glue it down so there's not a rough cut edge there that's nice and finished. But we don't have to do that on this project, so I'll just have to show you that on another one. Anyway, this is how it's gonna be, and when we get back, I'll show you the finished cord on here. Okay, I have put the entire piece of cord into the groove here all the way around. So as you can tell, it looks really nice and finished. Now down at the bottom, uh, the seat, as I said, is gonna go in here and it's gonna come up probably to about here. So we're not gonna see any of that. Now, there's one thing that if you're doing this at home, you might get frustrated with. And it's if you cut this cord and you're trying to glue it into the groove, sometimes you just can't get that rough edge covered that you've stapled underneath here. So a little trick of the trade is to take a rubber mallet and just go around here and pound that cord flat. It's just cotton inside of there. So if it flattens out, it's gonna disguise some of that, that uh, rough edge behind there, some of those staples. So do the best you can do, but you can come by and do a little a little cheating exercise there and get that flattened out to give it the finished edge. The finished back is looking really sharp and professional. And once we get the seat in, this will have been a total transformation. This was one of the ugliest chairs, ugly cheap chairs I got at Goodwill. I even got it at the Goodwill outlet. I think it was $2.99. So anyway, I will come back and show you the finished product when we're done. But the back is nice and tight and looks great. So. Check back next time for the five-minute clinic and go to modhomec.com.